June 3rd, 2018. For the people of Guatemala, it's a day like any other. The volcano that towers above them is just part of the landscape. Known as Fuego, the volcano of fire, Guatemala's most active volcano sits dangerously close to several villages and towns. Fuego's monitoring station has only one seismograph. It shows a rise in activity, but nothing to indicate what's about to be unleashed. Early in the morning, Early in the morning on that day, June 3rd, bulletin started coming in as usual, but not a warning that could be a big explosion. 1 p.m. There's a massive explosion. Ash and rock blast high into the air. Yet strangely, there's no panic. People have witnessed frequent ash explosions for the last 16 years. Locals believe any fallout will spill into valleys lining the volcano slopes. But shortly after, disaster strikes. A deadly avalanche bursts over the hills. Residents flee for their lives. A boiling cloud of ash, known as pyroclastic flow, flows at up to 200 miles per hour and can be superheated to 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. The searing ash burns your lungs. Death comes in an instant. Once the pyroclastic flow reaches the shallower or the flatter parts of the volcano, the ash cloud can then spread out across the countryside. They're impossible to escape from and impossible to outrun. The eruption of Fuego, its largest in four decades, is so big it can be seen from space. Ash reaches around 10 miles in the air. 60 square miles are blanketed in a suffocating layer. The first responders arrive around two hours later. Shocking sights greet them. Local journalist David Mercer grabs his camera and heads straight to the disaster zone. These are among the first images sent to the outside world. It was an incredibly surreal situation. All of the sound was kind of muffled by this thick layer of ash that was covering everything. It was monochrome. Everything was monochrome. Some places, you knew that there was a two-story house, and you could just see the very rooftop. So you knew that there was a couple of meters of this material, of this ash and lava and mud all sort of joined together. Like a modern version of Pompeii, the last moments of life are frozen in time. <laughs> 